and welcome back to the Beer Dog Reviews. I've got a local beer for you today, well local to me, and from Exmoor Ales, we've got Exmoor Ale, their famous award winning bitter, coming in at 4% in this 500ml bottle. Now, as is often the case with Exmoor Ales, you've got a stag as part of the design, That's a, a stag wandering around in Exmoor there by the looks of things. Now, see, um, Exmoor Ale is based out of Witherliscombe, so not very far from Taunton where I am. Let's have a look at it. Very first beer made by Exmoor Ales, which famously, with just its 13th brew, won National Gold Award for Best Bitter in the Camera Great British Beer Festival in 1980, held at Alexandra Palace. Oh. Let's have a look at it. This is obviously their flagship beer. And whilst I have had it before, I've never reviewed it. We do have a plain black crown. Before I get the uh, get it off. Okay. Let's get it into the glass and see what it's like. You can already smell the malts coming out there. It is a clear beer. It's a rich deep brown. Uh, oh, just slightly darker than amber there. But not quite venturing into a dark brown, a chestnutty or anything. So it's a, a, fair, a medium, yeah, it's a medium brown beer. We have a good solid finger there of slightly off-white creamy looking head. Good levels, levels of carbonation there as you can see coming up through, I think you can just about pick it up on the camera there coming up through the glass. On the nose, yep, traditional malty. There's a slight sweetness in there. And that's really all you're going to get on the nose, but that's all you're going to expect, really, isn't it? It's a nice standard 4% bitter. Can't really go wrong there, can you? I do like a nice traditional beer. Oh, rich bready malt. Slight hints of toffee sweetness. Mm. And unlike a lot of traditional bitters that you get these days, you are still getting the bitterness. It seems a strange thing to say, but these days a lot of the traditional bitters don't seem to have that bitter edge anymore. It's all about malt build and I don't know what else, but they've gone away a bit from what it used to be. For that, it's history in a glass. That's what it is. It's got nice richness to it. It's not too heavy on the body. that carbonation rush really opens up that multi flavour. Rich brown bread, like I say that slight toffee sweetness coming in just before you get the bitter rush at the end. It's smooth, it's rounded and it's well balanced. What more do you need? A perfectly good drinkable beer. And it's local. Can't say better than that really, can you? I mean, I, I know uh, something like this is a sort of an autumn beer really, but I could drink this all year round easily. Oh. Mm. And 
you know, occasionally you want to step away from those craft IPAs and so on and the heavy stouts and just have something that's a nice, simple, good old fashioned pint. That's exactly what it is. Cheers to you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, happy drinking.